What's up ZHS? Welcome to another edition of Globetrot. 1,000 young Israelis marched to call for the government to pass laws that would restrict CO2 emissions and prepare for worsening conditions. A 14% increase of greenhouse gases is predicted to happen by the end of the decade. These statistics have pushed these young students to fight for future generations. There were 62 reported homicides on Saturday in the country of El Salvador, making it the most violent day in nearly three decades. With this, the El Salvador parliament launched the country into a state of emergency after discovering that these murders were carried out by criminal gangs. The annual Oscars were held last Sunday at the Dolby Theater. Some iconic wins included Coda for Best Picture, Jane Campion as Best Director, and Encanto for Best Animation. Another iconic scene occurred when Will Smith slapped Chris Rock after he made fun of Jada Pinkett's lack of hair. Smith drew back and slapped Rock across the face with his open hand. A plane crash was reported on Sunday in China. This plane crash resulted in the death of all 132 passengers and the crew. Currently, the cause of the crash has not been found. In an unprecedented act of violence, a train traveling from the Nigerian capital experienced gunfire. The toll was unclear and there were reports of abductions of the people on the train. It's also unclear on who the criminals were, but many believe that the aggressors were those of a bandit group. Bandit groups became an area of conflict for Nigeria since 2011 and continues to be an ongoing issue. Russia weighed heavy accusations of cyber aggression against the United States with claims that the U.S. has disrupted Russia's internet, power, and railroad switches. Of course, the U.S. denied all these accusations. For WZHS, I'm Mads Mathis. What's up, Zachary? Hi, I'm Kaylee Davidson, and this is your What's Happening. ZHS SGA held their last meeting this past Tuesday in the library. Officers discussed the plans for the last month of the school year, such as the SGA officer elections, the last SGA after school activity. Also, next week's talent show where performers have a chance to win $100, $50, or $25. There will be door prize giveaways to the audience members who attend. And also, next Monday at lunch in the courtyard, you can purchase your ticket for the talent show. The ZHS prom was last Saturday and it was a huge success. Thank you to the administration, teachers, prom committee, and Ms. Ernest, who were all involved in putting together the first traditional prom for Zachary High since 2019. Students danced the night away in their suits and dresses at the River Center, and of course took plenty of pictures showing off their fashion for a night to remember. This past Wednesday, Zachary High held the April Blood Drive in the practice gym. Students were able to donate their blood to the Oshner Blood Bank with hopes of helping those in need, and seniors were able to receive a red cord and put their names into a drawing for a scholarship in partnership with Oshner. To pick up your 2020-2021 yearbook, come to Ms. McClinton's room in A112. The yearbook staff will distribute books beginning at 5th hour each day. Seniors who leave before 5th can stop by A112 to pick up their books. 2021 graduates' yearbooks are in the main office for pickup as well. Congrats to the ZHS FFA Veterinary Science Team for placing first at the state competition. Laren Bunch, Kelsey Atkinson, Maya Carter, and Alicia Joseph. Laren Bunch was the high point individual at the state veterinary science competition. These girls will go on to compete at nationals in October. Shout out to Kennedy Hughes, Victor Costa for being recognized at this week's school board meeting. They are the winners of the Demco essay contest and won an all expense paid trip to Washington, D.C. Due to her hard work and astounding representation of Zachary High, Caroline Cressup was also recognized at the meeting for being Zachary High's 2021-2022 Student of the Year. The D&D Club meets every Wednesday after school in the cafeteria to perform strategies, a storyline, and to conquer battles, dungeons, and strategies with the storyline. This club is unlike the rest, but still, each member has their own part, and they each have fun every Wednesday. That's all for this week, Broncos. Have a great weekend.